Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Koito Uso or Love and Lies on episode 10. This episode here was actually pretty um informational in a certain sense, especially a little small backstory about Takisaki in a certain way. So if anything else, let's go. We have to it that um Igarashi ends up having a little small talk with Yukari, of course I picked off from last week's episode, and ends up telling ends up having a conversation with really really Rina as well. And the way how things are going right now, it seems like they both don't know what the heck is going on after they after she explained that she's gonna protect Takasaki. And I'm thinking in my mind, huh, what the heck's going on here, etc. And eventually when it came to like um to the rest of the episode, we have to it that um, our boy Misaka's um, relatives, um, brother and father, invites um, Yukari to go to the wedding, and he ends up inviting Takasaki and Rina to go to the wedding as well. So it seems like to me, at a certain comedic moment here and there, I think they just want to come by and invite them. Of course, like um, when Yukari does try to make a friend request or try to like. Um, send a message to Igarashi, he gets blocked off when it was revealed later, which is really hilarious. Nejima tries to confirm this when Rina decides to talk with, like, um, Igarashi, and Igarashi says, oh, bring Nejima or Yukari along too if you want. And of course, she does confirm that she did block him, which is really, really hilarious. I'm thinking in my mind, what the hell, dude? <laughs> that's, pretty hel that's pretty funny. So, aside from major um, certain consequences here and there, we have to it that Igarashi explains how she met Takasaki and how she ends up hating her but ends up liking her in the end. And we get to know that Takasaki does have some feelings about him. Well, it's kind of like obvious from the start, but we get to know why she's so attracted to him in a certain sense, but it wasn't detail it wasn't really explicitly revealed yet, but eventually um when the time came about here and there um, we have to it that she was about to reveal much more of what's to come. But apparently because, like, um, we got interrupted by, what's the guy's name? Um, Yajima Motoi. He ends up telling telling her not to spread out some mixture or something and knock it off. And therefore she says, yeah, sure, you know, I understand that. All I could, all I could do is just be a protector of Takasaki or Misaki. So do me a favor, yeah, do, do me a favor, Yajima, just... Pay the bill, and I won't say you're slacking off. You hear me? He goes like, wait, 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> Etc. And we had to it that, um, that Rina and Nejima couldn't end up walking home together, and she asked a question to Nejima, you know? Like, was it wrong for me to cheer both of you on? I mean, like, um, etc. Because after that conversation with Igarashi, which I think is really important to look into, obviously, it's pretty, like, um, important to understand, like, um, okay, like, was it wrong for me to cheer, cheer you guys on? And Nejima goes, like, I don't know if I, sh I don't know how I'm going to answer that, but, yeah, it is what it is. And it looks like to me, next episode, this might involve maybe a preparation of wedding, though I don't really know. But one thing for sure, it's going to be a little hectic from here on out. Because it looks like, it looks like a couple things are starting to get a little, like, um, tense, because... We do know it. We do know from the very beginning of the series, um, ta that Nejima did get a freaking like a note notice, and that involves Takasaki. But somehow it ends up changing all of a sudden. It's just really complicated, don't you think? But I don't know. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm out for zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye. Doo -doo -doo.